I'm Dr Sarah Tomlinson, I'm one of the junior doctors at Gloucester Royal Hospital. I've been a junior doctor um, for eight months now, working at Gloucester Royal Hospital for that time. I originally grew up in Bristol and then my parents moved to Nailsworth near Stroud um, and I went to medical school in Southampton so I've come back, come back home as it were. Um, and I love my job, I love um, working as a doctor. It's an incredibly, I feel very lucky to be a doctor, um, to be able to care for people when they need it and um, to, to, to be there for people. It's a wonderful position to be in. It's very emotional at times. Um, I won't deny there aren't times when there have been um, a lot of tears shed at work. It can be very difficult um, and it can be very challenging. But I think I have one of the best jobs in the world um, and I hope it, hope it stays that way. So far, unfortunately, the government hasn't taken our concerns seriously. Their responses to any of our concerns have been very, well, have highlighted really that they don't understand um, our issues. They don't understand what it's like to work as a junior doctor. Um, and we're hoping that by escalating this, um, this action, they will sit down, they will start to take us seriously, and they will start to take our concerns seriously. So this time we've had 48 hour um, non-emergency withdrawal of care. So that means there are still junior doctors working in the emergency department and there are junior doctors covering an emergency across the hospital. Um, but there are no junior doctors doing non-emergency care um, yesterday and today. At the end of the month, the BMA is suggesting that we escalate that to withdraw junior doctors um, that work in the emergency departments as well, so we're withdrawing all care from junior doctors. That is not to say, and I just want to make this clear, that that is not to say that there will be no emergency cover. Of course, A&E will be open, as it is um, every hour of the day, every day of the year anyway. It will be covered, though it will be staffed by consultants, so these are the most senior doctors in the hospital. Um, and they're not ones who are striking, and they'll be covering the emergency care in the hospital. So please don't hold back from going to A&E during the strike if you need to. We've been absolutely overwhelmed by the amount of support that we've had from the public. Um, it's been really tough, actually, for the last few months. Morale has been really low amongst the doctors, and it's made such a difference when we feel like we can't fight on, we haven't got anything left to give to this and then we turn around and we see people like yourself supporting us and that's what keeps us going and that's what reminds us what it's worth fighting for. So thank you so much for your support.